so excited that you are here today. First of all, I just wanted to educate you about why I shoot my videos. I shoot my videos to provide information, resources, tools that I have used in my life as a successful entrepreneur, a mother, um, a child of God, and just overall to create success in everything that I do. And so I'm requesting that you leave comments below on any issue or topic that you would like me to cover. Just, you don't have to go in, in depth, just put the comments below. Thank you. So today, my video is going to be about assisting you in either creating your life vision or to clarify your life vision. To begin, I want you to have a pen and paper ready and have a couple of minutes where you can focus and absorb the information that you're going to receive. Hello! Are you ready to create your life vision with me? First of all, I want you to be prepared mentally to accomplish this. And a little trick that I do to get myself in a positive mindset is that I do the two box technique. It's a technique where I tell myself there are two boxes in front of me. One that's beautiful, it's golden, it's, it has all jewels, like everything that I like or I would perceive as, you know, beautiful. And the other box is horrible. It's just, it's ugly in every way and form. Before I do something that requires me to be mentally present, I go inside of myself and I take away or I take out of my negative talking or negative thinking all the things that would obstruct me. For example, unworthiness, you know, thinking that I'm not good enough, that who am I to want these things, all the things that others have said to me, my current situation. You know, looking at myself in the current place that I am. And so my current situation would dictate what is possible. And all these negative things, I don't know what negative thing you might have in your mind right now when you are beginning on thinking or, or creating or designing your future that would come into your mind or in your ears, but whatever that is, we're gonna take it for a second you know, squash it up into a little ball and we're gonna open that horrible disgusting box and we're gonna put it in there and you just tell yourself you know what if after I'm finished doing this you're still there we'll talk then we're gonna go into the other box we're gonna open it up it's this wonderful incredible box and inside of it it's everything that God created me or you to become it's there's no restrictions it's all possibilities Meaning that money is not an option, time is not an option, race is not an option, gender is not an option. Every, when I take the beautiful uh, crystal out of this box and I put it in my heart or in my mind or wherever you want to place it on you, it vanquishes everything that would stop me from becoming and being all that I want to be. So we're going to do that. I want you to take that crystal out and I want you to place it in your heart or on your head or wherever it could be a crown it could be a jewel you know put it on and it's gonna just like bounce off all the negative thinking all the negative mindset and then you're gonna be ready to start what we want to do so our life I want you to see your life as a compass that has 12 um, parts on the compass and for you to have or create the life that you want you're going to address and design or write down how you want each point of this compass to be according to your ideal life design. And the first part of the compass is going to be your character, right? It's your personal brand. It's the perception of, and the perception that people have of you, the emotional perception, uh, the image that comes to people's minds when they think of you. So this is your personal brand, it's your character. It's what your strengths are, it's what you're really good at. It's um, what makes you unique, what makes you you. What is your personality like? I want you to think of the grandest um, image of yourself and I want you to write that down. 
and that is your character that's your personal brand that is who if you had no restrictions whatsoever you would be and that is the first part of your compass all right so the second um, part of the life compass or your life compass that we're going to tackle is your um, love um, relationships companionship marriage it's who um, it's who you want to be in that kind of relationship and who you want the person to be or who you the, the, the perfect picture so of course it can be two sets of people right you're either in that relationship already and this is a person that you want to carry with you throughout your life vision or you're waiting to get into that relationship or in you know, a third person you could be like running to escape <laughs> what you're currently in <laughs> to get into uh, you know your life um, relationship so if you're in that relationship already come on think about next 20 years you know how do you want that relationship to be you know every year of it I'm talking from dates to communication to sex yes sex is very important to um, the empire you want to build you know your house is like just the whole picture of what you want that relationship to be like if you're um, not in that relationship yet but you're looking for it apart from what you want the relationship to be like I want you to focus on who you want that person to be in in terms of their integrity their character um, how they communicate how they look of course you can design how you know you want the person to look maybe it's not going to be exact but you know that's a part of you have that choice you're allowed to have a preference in who you want to be with so draw that picture sketch him or her out in the entirety if it's a female you want her shape a guy's height everything I want you to paint the picture of the person if you're not with them if you're with them and you're not perfect you know you want to chisel some things out write the chiseling stuff also into that okay and if you're in a really really bad relationship and it's not who you want to have your life vision with I mean I'm not a relationship counselor but unhealthy relationships are not good for anyone so you need to really assess yourself and get yourself out okay properly and safely not just you know I don't know in Jamaica where I come from last year there was a lot of things happening so ladies and sometimes men to be careful how you get out of these really bad relationships the third um, category or era of your life compass that we're gonna focus on is your family and this um, is about your extended family so it's a family that you were brought up in so like your mom dad uh, siblings cousins so forth and your immediate family which is more your your kids if you're a parent um, and your 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 wife your marriage all of that not the love part of it but just the family values how you want your when you think of a family how you guys um, live how you train your children you know how you want um, the examples you want to set within the family life what do you want to teach your children what do you want how do you want the picture of your family to look like for those that that's your immediate and you have control over and for the family that you were born in um, try to see how best um, to stay in relationship with um, you know that extended side of your family sometimes it's easy because you were fortunate to be born in a wonderful family and so maintaining those relationships are so easy and you make the time and you know they're you're close they just come over whenever they want and so forth and for other people it's not you know the, the, a lot of these family members are hard to deal with it's difficult and so you have to create boundaries and you have to set yourself up in a way where your personal life is protected you know you're protected against the damage um, however whatever you need to do to design it so that it positively affects you and not negatively affects you you do so but design it and for the fourth category on your life compass is your personal growth and development your intellect right it's what kind of education do you want to have um, what do you want to accomplish how much time do you want to spend on molding um, your skills um, everything that you can offer to the world right what do you want to learn you know how do you want to speak several languages do you want to read several books you know what are the new talents and information that you want to acquire how do you want to speak 
just the, your overall, everything has to do with your mental um, and emotional development, your intellect that works together to represent you. When you open your mouth, when you carry yourself, you know, all of that. I want you to design um, that. And, and maybe it's easy for me. What I do is I think of great women, both alive and, you know, past, how they carry themselves, what they accomplished, how they spoke, who they were. And I take, you know, parts of them that I love and I put that into my intellect, the design of how I want my intellect, intellectual side to be. So you can do that too. Or if you're already clear on it, you write it down, baby. Write it down. Number five is your career, your calling, your purpose. Who are you supposed to be on this earth? What are you supposed to do? You know, who are you supposed to become? It, I, you, we were created for a reason and it's our responsibility to find that calling, to find that reason and match it with a way in which to make money from it, right? God gave all of us talent. He gave all of us um, something to contribute back to the world. And that is what I want to assist you in digging deep inside of yourself and finding. And that's one of the reasons why I created my company life compass it was for that um distinct reason of digging that out of people because i believe that what you do for a living needs to matter it cannot be only um monetary it, like motivated because of uh, money or motivated because of what society says or what's popular every one of us is unique and it's important that we're all living in our uniqueness and of course providing for ourselves, our own needs and our family through that talent, through that gift, through those strengths. And I want to help you find it and you need to take some time to breathe and dig that out of yourself. Category six is your social life. And I'm smiling about this one because honestly, this is a part of my um, life vision that I constantly struggle with. I become so busy with a lot of the other areas of my life compass, my life vision, that I don't put enough energy and effort into satisfying social relationships. You need to have good friends, and not just friends for the word friends, but I'm talking people that you're invested in and they're invested into your lives. You need to have fun, you know? You need to be able to support others and feel supported. And not just your spouse or, you know, your immediate family. I'm talking other people outside of that. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I'm not, I, I'm, you're pre I'm preaching to myself because I struggle with that. People that you have the same, you know, connection with in terms of morals, interests, hobbies and you have to set time aside to have a social life to enjoy yourself you know sometimes you ask people well what kind of things do you love doing and it's so hard for them to actually think about it well what makes me happy outside of all the other areas that we're talking about what do i like doing what are my hobbies what are my interests and if you don't have a lot or you know enough then you need to pursue you know discovering new ones so put some energy into your social life because if all of the other areas of your life um, is balanced and any one of these points of your compass is not holding its own on the compass, it's going to be unbalanced. They're all important, even fun. So, you know, fun, you know, enjoying yourself, laughing, dancing, singing, all of that important. So write it down, guys. Um, so part seven or category seven or the seventh part of your compass is um, alliances your network your the partnerships that you develop you know are you connected to all the organizational um, associations that you want to be a part of and if not what are they and what will they be as you grow or as you become the person that you were meant to be um, you, know, you need to pursue that for me that's also another area of my life where I have to actively put effort in because it does not come naturally to me. I hate networking. There's, you know, until I, I read about it and learned about it, it always felt so fake to me to go out and meet new people and um, in terms of professional. It was hard for me and it's hard for many people, but it's important. They say that your network is your net worth. You know, who you know 
the next person could be um, the connection that brings you into you know another era of your life another level so it's important to meet new people professionally and be a part of organizations and go to events and if you're not actively in that space where you need to do it plan for it incorporate it into your life vision into your life plan category eight and this is a good one it's fun and rest so it's different from your social life because your social life is more um i'm not as young as i used to be so it will be more about partying and um excitement and you know all these things while um this fun that i'm talking about and rest is more rejuvenation it's more like vacation it's 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 that kind of restoration i'm talking about where you want to travel to you know all the new things that you want to be a part of but in a way where it restores you in a way that it enriches you so it doesn't have to even be with others you know of course it's great when you're you can do you can um, combine your fun and rest with your social life but there are times when it can be a, on an individual um, level but it's rest it's like taking care of your body you know massage facials you know all of this thing it's like I, a, a complete pampering of some sort of yourself that has to be you know inside of who we are we can't just be working working giving giving burning burning and not restoring so we have to have a plan in how we actively plan on a monthly basis to restore ourselves nine spiritual growth right and development your spirituality do the do the what kind of dance is this it's like a, a flowy i don't know new age yoga yoga ish movement yeah your spiritual life my spiritual life journey and uh, maybe yours is too maybe not but you know being born um, as a Christian going through um, my upbringing then departing when you're a teenager when you're in my early youth I wanted to explore the world and learn all these new things see if you know what I was brought up in was even right for me and then going coming full circle back to it with new information uh, new ways to um, utilize my relationship with God to be even more deeper more rich so that's been my journey I don't know what your journey is going to be like but in society today um, persons don't understand the value of grounding yourself spiritually but we're spiritual beings so the spiritual aspect of our lives are very very or is very very important so you have to pay attention to it and especially when we are much younger it doesn't feel as if it's that important and as we age as we become adults um, we start to realize that we need to get ourselves in order and I don't know what your spiritual journey is going to be like I personally believe in Jesus Christ and I'm a Christian but whatever your journey is you need to pursue it you need to find it you need to write it down you need to define it because your spirituality brings you inner peace inner joy it grounds you so find it 10 oh 10 category 10 finances your financial stability as a Jamaican as a black woman as a person that was born in poverty whoo Lord my financial education has been priceless and educating my family my friends uh, people I come in contact with has just been so fulfilling because in our community it's so bad guys um, and it, there may be others um, that are watching this that are not Jamaicans that are not black you're from different ethnic groups and you may not have as much a struggle as we do but either way you have to educate yourself on your finances if your finances are whack in this world that we live in you're going you're going to have a horrible uh, life I'm sorry uh, wealth is a resource and what resources do it it enables you to have the life that you want it gives you time to spend with your family it gives you time and resources to do the things that you want to do even if you want to just dive fully into your spiritual life you can't do that worrying about money so you have to get your finances in order you need to know um, how much money you need you need to understand where you want to live for houses um, for your um, when you retire 
if your children are gonna need your help if other family members that you um, want to assist um, things that you on charities or organization or even um, in terms of your spirituality or your if you're a Christian you want to um, contribute to the kingdom of God you need money and to have money to do this you need to be financially stable but you have to have a clear picture with numbers and um, things that you want to accomplish in order to have a plan to do so so guys get your financial um, design of your life in order so category 11 right 10 and 1 11 is your health wealth wellness health wellness and fitness or health fitness and wellness whatever it's what you eat exercise how you feel how you um, take care of your body also another area that I struggle with <laughs> I had a baby like a year ago and I gained in through this whole COVID experience the last six months all the weight that I lost I gained back and now I have to go and go through this whole process again because you need discipline you need self-discipline to regulate what you eat you have to have structure to incorporate um, exercise into your life every day it's the little things and doing it in a way that you can maintain it if you can't maintain a three-hour gym trip don't do it maintain a 30 minutes um, or 20 minutes workout at home but something that you can do whether you're gonna do it early in the morning consistently or in the evenings find that slot of time that you can exercise continuously between three to five times for the week and you have to eat well even if you're saying okay I'm gonna first change to having healthy breakfast and then maybe in a couple months I'll focus on having healthy lunches and then in another couple months I'll focus on having healthy dinners and then in another couple months I'll stop eating at a certain hour or my nighttime snacks are gonna be only veggies whatever it is design a plan and I think like designing and adjusting your eating habits slowly but like you know addressing one particular area of your your diet at a time and then fixing that before moving to other areas will work because you'll be able to do it and maintain it 12 we're here we're finally here and before I forget I really want you to help me by letting me know what you want me to talk about I want you to comment I want you to follow I want you to DM me wherever you're watching my video videos I want to hear a feedback from you so please let me know issues that you're facing let me know topics that you want me to cover so let's wrap this up category 12 10 plus 2 is your legacy guys this is so important I'm gonna read some of the questions that I have written down question one how satisfied are you with the mark that you are leaving on the world or what you have you are leaving behind for other people or causes that you want to care about at the end of your life like what what is it how satisfied are you what are these things what kind of impact do you want to have or leave um, how will the next generation remember you your kids strangers how will they remember you what will your contribution be who will carry on the work that you're building in this lifetime right what industries will you influence you are an industry influencer that's why we're doing a life plan you don't want to just survive you want to be the top of whatever it is that you were meant to do and be if you're a lawyer the top lawyer if you're a hairstylist I want everybody to know your name when they think about hairstyles makeup designing clothes if you can cook be a, um, a I forgot what it's called five-star chef Michelin chef um, I want you to be remembered this is what your legacy is what kind of inheritance do you want to leave your children that's part of your legacy um, where will you work right how will the world know that you are here this question floored me asking myself this question Shelly how will the world know that I was ever here if I just came and stayed in my tiny tiny um, corner and then I just died right what um, other ripples do you want to um, in the paddle of life or in the pond of life you know what kind of ripples you want to create I want to leave those questions with you 
and you know let me know let me know what kind of legacy so I can look you up in the future I'll know you know what she was here she watched my video and this is who she said she was going to become this is what she said she was going to leave so again it's a compass your life is a compass 12 categories in your life and you, this is how you design your life vision by clearly defining who you are in these 12 areas what you want to accomplish who you want to accomplish it with and when you kind of fold this when you, you put them in your life vision becomes clearer and again if you want help in making it not just you know average but kick ass reach out to me that's what my company does at life compass we help you create the grandest most epic life vision ever thank you bye see you next week